Today we're going to look at binomial products involving SIRDs. And the learning goal for today is that we're going to be able to use the distributive law to expand binomial expressions that involve SIRDs. So when we're expanding binomial expressions, just as a reminder, we need to ensure that we multiply the values inside the brackets by each other. Uh, remember that binomial product means two values, binomial, two values. Um, so it means that inside each bracket we have two values uh, here that we're going to be expanding. So when we do expand binomial products, we multiply the A times C, A times D, and the B times C, and, and the B times D, and add them all together to get AC plus AD plus BC plus BD. And the reason for that is because if we, if we have a look at an array, here and we have the sides of our array as A plus B and C plus D and we can have a look at the area being A times B plus times sorry A plus B times C plus D then we can look at the individual tinier areas that make up the overall area and we can see that A times C is AC we have AD here BC here and BD here and then we add them all together and we get um, the sum that we see here. Um, recall some ex special cases. If we have a binomial expansion that's a square, so we have the binomial value inside the bracket squaring, that is the same as for this particular case A plus B times A plus B. If we expand that out and collect like terms, we see we get A squared plus two lots of the AB plus B squared. So we can, if we see in this form, we see a, a binomial expansion, a square expansion in this form, we can simplify it to this um, before then doing the multiplication and the squaring and simplifying further. Similarly, if we have A minus B, then we have A squared and then we minus AB and minus a further AB um, to combine to make minus 2AB. And because we've got negative B times negative B, that becomes positive B squared. So we get in this form, A squared minus 2AB plus B squared, when we have a minus b all squared. We can also form a difference of two squares or form a different, also called uh, forming a difference of perfect squares by having a format, a binomial expansion of the format a plus b times a minus b. If we expand that out, the minus a b and plus a b cancel and we're just left with a squared minus b squared. So looking at some examples now, the first example that we have here, a, if we write it down, 2 root 5 minus 1 times 3 root 5 plus 4. Now, if we expand it out and we have a look, we need to do the 2 root 5 times 3 root 5, 2 root 5 times 4, the minus 1 times 3 root 5, and the minus 1 times 4. So we get 2 root 5 times 3 root 5. Uh, plus 2 root 5 times 4 minus 1 times 3 root 5 and then minus 1 times 4. If we simplify this, we've got 2 times 3 which is 6. Root 5 times root 5 is going to be 5 because it's root 5 squared plus 2 times root 5 times 4 is going to be 8 root 5 minus one of the three root fives, minus four. Simplifying this, we get 30. I've got eight root fives and I take away three root fives, that's going to be five root fives. And then I take away four, and then simplifying further, collecting like terms, I get 26 uh, plus five root five. So to answer to A, B, is we've got 2 minus root 7 squared and we can do this in two ways I'll show you both ways so first way is we can um, just do the expansion as we would normally so 2 minus root 7 all squared is the same as 2 minus root 7 times 2 minus root 7 so we can just do this expansion as we normally would do the 2 times 2 do 2 uh, plus 2 times negative root 7, minus root 7 times 2, minus root 7 times negative root 7. 
Simplifying, we get 4 minus 2 root 7 minus a further 2 root 7. And then negative times a negative is positive, And root 7 times root 7 is going to be just 7. So collecting like terms here, I get 11. And then I'm taking away 2 root 7 and taking away a further 2 root 7. So that's the same as taking away 4 root 7. So we're left with 11 minus 4 root 7. Now, another way to do that question is we can have a look at that general form, if we remember the general form um, from before, which is we take the first number, we take the first number, and we square it. So 2 squared. And then we take, we do 2 minus, because it's minus in the middle, 2 times the first number times the second number. So 2 times 2 times root 7 and then we do 2, uh, sorry, the last value squared. So we then have plus root 7 all squared. So that means we've got 4 minus 4 root 7 plus 7 which is our 11 minus 4 root 7. So you can see that this way, if we can remember the general form that the question, that the uh, answer is going to be expressed in, it's much easier and simpler. We can cut out some of those middle steps. But sometimes uh, we certainly need to practice that very um, frequently to remember that general form. And you also do have the opportunity to check by doing your solution in the normal way. And if you forget as well, you can do it in the normal way, just expanding it out as you would normally. So let's look at C here. We've got another square, so it's 3 root 2 uh, plus 5 root 3 squared. Now I'm going to do this only using the um, format, that the general form that we have um, from before. So we take the first number squared, so 3 root 2 squared, and then we have plus 2 times each of the different individual values, 3 root 2 uh, times 5 root 3 and then we have our final value squared plus 5 root 3 all squared. So when we're squaring these values we need to remember that the square distributes to all of the values inside the brackets. So the squared is going to be 3 squared times root 2 squared. So this simplifies to 9 times 2 because the 3 squared is 9 and root 2 squared is 2. Now we have plus uh, and multiplying all of the values outside of the brackets, we've got, um, oh, sorry, outside of the third symbols, 2 times 3 times 5, 6 times 5, which is 30. And inside the thirds, we've got 2 times 3, which is root 6. And we can't simplify 6 um, any further because it's we can't have it as a factor of a square, a perfect square. Our last value here is 5 squared, which is 25, times root 3 squared, which is 3. So we're left with 18 plus 30 root 6 plus 75, and 75 plus 18 is 93. So we've got 93 plus 30 root 6 for C. For D, now, if we have a look at the format, 2 plus root 5, 2 minus root 5, this is a difference of perfect squares. So I'll show you two ways to do this particular one. So we'll do, if we do it straight up, we can do um, 2 times 2 plus 2 times negative root 5 plus root 5 times 2 uh, plus root 5 times negative root 5. So we've got here 4 minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 plus, oops, sorry, not plus, minus, minus 5 because root 5 times root 5 is going to be just 5. So here the minus 2 root 5 and plus 2 root 5 cancel uh, and we're left with 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. So that's one way we can do this. Um, we can also recognise that is the difference of two squares. 
So we've got 2 plus root 5, 2 minus root 5. So when we're looking at this, we can say, well, this is the same as 2 squared minus root 5 squared, which is equal to 4 minus 5, which is equal to negative 1. Again, much simpler, but if you forget the general form or forget how to do it, you can always go back and have a look at how and at um, what's going to appear. Now, the interesting thing about having a difference of two squares is, uh, or, or this initial format of the difference of two squares, so the same number added times the same number with second number subtracted, instead is um, you will always have it as a whole number, then it won't be a third in your answer. The reason for that is because you'll always be squaring your square roots. You'll always be squaring those square roots, so you'll never have thirds in your answer for that uh, question. Looking at the last question now, E, and we've got 7 root 2 minus root 3, and 7 root 2 plus root 3. It's another format for the difference of perfect squares. So I'm going to go straight to doing that difference of perfect squares. This is going to be 7 root 2 squared minus root 3 squared. So here, if I'm squaring this, I've got to square all of the components of it. So I square the 7 and get 49, and square the 2 and I get 2. And I get uh, minus uh, root 3 squared, and root 3 squared is just minus 3. So if I do 49 times 2, I get 98. 98 minus 3 is going to be 95. So that's the answer I get for that final one. Now, just recapping on the learning goal for this, uh, this lesson, we've learned how to do binomial expansions using, uh, using uh, thirds. And we've been able to look at specific cases where we've got um, the squares and also difference of perfect squares.